Let me know in the comments if you used to watch this 90s TV show. Normally it was on after school. Find us, keep us with Neil Buchanan. Like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a nostalgia video. Keeper's house, Neil Buchanan! Welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new series of Finders Keepers. I tell you, it is brilliant to be back here. Because, of course, this is the house where you can do all those things that you can't actually do at home. Because it's our house. Whose house? <laughs> Yes, now look, if there's someone in your house that hasn't seen Finders Keepers yet, then tell them to watch out, they're in for a big shock. Because this is the house where we can go bonkers in the bathroom, crazy in the kitchen, loony in the living room and win some brilliant prizes while we're doing it. It's also the house that's got its own voice. Jeremy the Voice. Um, <clears throat> how have you been, Jeremy? I've been great, Neil. I've been locked in this attic so long I thought my bugle was going rusty. And has it? <laughs> Yeah, so all right, that's enough of that. I'll put the teams off. Let's meet the teams. Bring on the Yellow Terrors! Who this week are from Milton Keynes. Well, we can see the yellow. Are they terrible? We will find out. Who are you? My name's Rhea and I've got three horrible brothers and I bully them all the time. Oh, she is horrible. Who are you? My name's Gary and I can play the spoons. Oops. Nice round of applause for that. One horrible one, one talented one. Let's meet the Green Minis. Bring them on. This week, they are from Manchester. Well, they're green, are they mean? Who are you? I'm Marie, and I do a great impression of Phyllis from Coronation Street. Oh, go on, then. Hello, Percy. Give us a kiss. <laughs> That's terrible. Who are you? I'm John, and I'm... Not allowed him in Dad's room because I fell off bed and broke my arm and I bit quackers because I do Donald Duck impressions. Go on then. <laughs> Sounds totally mad. Sounds to me like the perfect team. They're the teams. This is the house. Let's go and play it. Find us keepers. Come on. <laughs> Woo! So here we are again. In this first round, our teams are going to be playing for the opportunity to raid four rooms. It's a simple game of find and keep. Find the answers and keep them up here in your brain box. Remember this, our garage doors. Eight numbers there, eight answers behind the numbers. I've got four questions on my cards. You teams have to find out where the correct answers are. Each time you get a correct answer, you get to raid a room and you get 25 points. We're going to kick off going for the kids' bedroom. Green's won the toss, so Marie, this is your question. Who owns a chocolate factory? Pick a number to find the answer. Four. Who owns a chocolate factory? Roll Farris? No. He owns a silly beard. Over to you, Rhea. Yellow's question for the kids' bedroom. Who scored 48 goals for England? Pick three. a number. Number three, who scored 48 goals for England? <laughs> Sarah Green. <laughs> she scored a few goals for Blue Peter and Going Live, but not for England. You Greens, John, this is for you. Who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament? Pick a number. Seven. Who tried to blow up the Houses? <laughs> Gary Lineker? No. You found it. Keep it in your head. You might need it a little later. You yellows. Gary, this is for you. Who has a dog called Bouncer in Neighbours? Pick a number. Eight. Who has a dog called Bouncer in Neighbours? <laughs> Guy Fawkes. No, you did <laughs> What a terrible, terrible start. Greens, open question. Either of you can answer this one. Who owns a chocolate factory? Two. Who owns a chocolate factory? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Willy Wonka. 25 points to you. You will rate the kids' bedroom. Let's move on. Yellows, this is for the kitchen. 25 points up for grabs. Who scored 48 goals for England? Pick a numero. Seven. Who scored 48 goals for England? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you get the kitchen, you get 25 points. You got Gary Lineker. Well done. Greens, open question. Who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament? Pick a numero. Six. Eight. Quick, which one is it? Six. Eight. Six, six it is. Who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament? <laughs> Yogi Bear. No. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. I don't think. You yellows, who has a dog called Bouncer in Neighbours? Pick a number. Five. You think it's five who has a dog called Bouncer in Neighbours? <laughs> Joe Mando, yes! <laughs> you get yourself another 25 points, taking your total to 50, and you will raid Mum and Dad's bedroom. Let's face it, 
the most out of bounds room in the world. So you'll be going in there. This is for the living room. Come on, Greens, catching up to do. Who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament? Pick eight. a number. You think it's eight? Who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament? I think you're right. Well done. It is, of course, Guy Fawkes. You get 25 points and another room. At the end of the first game of Find and Keep, the scores are the yellows, two rooms and 50 points, and the greens have also got two rooms and 50 points. Yeah! So grab your helmets, grab your crash hat, and go, 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 go. Get ready to raid those rooms. Off you go. Now, I know this is the moment you've been waiting for for a long, long time. Mum and Dad's take cover or take off it's room raiding time let's go and raid some rooms come on <laughs> So here we are, crash helmets on, ready to raid those rooms. Now, you remember the rules. I'll repeat them for you, just in case you don't remember them. Hidden in this room is an object. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but at home, you might see the flashing blue arrow, which I think I'm going to nickname Flasher. So watch out for Flasher. I'm not going to tell you what the object is. I'll give you a clue. When I've given you the clue, you've got 30 seconds to find it to get 25 points. If you don't, they go to the other team. Is that fair? Yeah. OK, Marie, John, here's your clue. Move fast with these on your feet. There's wheels on their heels. Move fast. Nice. She thinks it's roller skates. He does too. Raid the rooms and find out. Thirty seconds. Move fast with these on your feet. There's wheels on their heels. Look everywhere. That's a completely wreck my bedroom. I don't believe that I tidied up in here earlier on. What's going on? Oh, you're getting very warm. Well, actually, you're not. You're cold now. You're very cold. You're getting warmer, John. John's very warm. John's getting very warm. Marie's even warmer. Marie is very warm. You're very warm. You're absolutely sizzling. Out of time. Out of time. There it is. Marie had her hand on it. Marie had her hand on it, but she was out of time. We were looking for roller skates. 25 points goes to the yellows. Let's join them in the kitchen. Let's go. <laughs> Woo well. You've just got yourselves 25 points for doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Do you want to go home now? No. No, I don't think you would. Here's your clue. Roses are red, violets are blue. This bunch is hidden from view. Roses are red, violets are blue. Roses, violets, what are they? This bunch, bunch. She thinks it's flowers, Ray thinks it's flowers. Do you agree? Yeah. You don't know yet, do you? Raid the room and find out. 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You're freezing, mate. It could be that you're in the fridge, though. You're actually in the fridge. You've got about 15 seconds, halfway through. You are freezing. You're absolutely freezing. You've got about four seconds left. You're freezing. Out of time. Out of time. Stop the raid. I did say you were freezing, and it wasn't because you were near the fridge. You actually touched them. We, we were looking for... Look at that. A bunch of roses. You actually touched them. You threw them onto the floor. I don't believe it. 25 points goes to the green meanies. Why don't you come with me to mum and dad's bedroom, perhaps the most out of bounds room in the world, and let's go and do some raiding. Come on, let's go and try and make it up. Upstairs we go. That's it. Right. That's it, right across. Woo! So the scores are still all square, 75 points each. They've both given one room away. Let's try and go for this one then, eh? Here's your clue. If you're shaky on your feet, lean on this. If you're shaky on your feet, little boy. What do you think it is, Ria? Walking stick. She thinks it's a walking stick. Do we agree? Yes. yes. Gary agrees. Let's go and raid the rooms and see if I agree. You've got 30 seconds. Could be anywhere. Could be absolutely anywhere. Look high, look low. But don't stop untidying the wardrobe. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm doing absolutely nothing here, am I? I'm having a great... You've got about eight seconds. You've got about eight seconds. The whole room is falling apart. You're freezing over there. It's you about to... Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Stop the clock! You got it with about 1.375 seconds to go. Brilliant. It was a walking stick we were looking for. She even looked in a little box that big. How could you get that in a little box that big? <laughs> that deserves one of them. That's what the crash helmets are for, so I can sort them out. 
I'm going to join the Greens. You come with me to the living room. Well done. You've got 25 points. They got it, they got it with about 1.375 split seconds to go. So here we go, here's your clue. I'm as pretty as a picture, but I've been framed. Pretty as a picture, framed, I've been framed in a picture. Oh, that's crap. Photograph, you might be right, 30 <laughs> seconds to find out. No, no, I, I'm as pretty as a picture. I'm as pretty as a picture. It might well be, yeah, it's a photograph of me. It's not on me. You're very warm, you're, you're very, very warm. Marie, you're very warm. You're looking for the Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Listen to the clue. That's it. Face down there so everyone can see you. The clue says, I'm pretty as a picture, but I've been framed. Look at that. I don't know who that is supposed to be, but um, I think I have been framed. Well done. 25 points to you. Let's bring on the yellows and see what the scores are. Come on, you yellows. On you come. So, at the end of the first room raids, the scores are the yellows, 100 points. The greens, 100 points. <laughs> I don't believe it. the whole building's falling around me here. I'm swallowing everything that moves, and it's still all square. You know as well as I do, anything can happen at this point. Four more rooms to raid, and the points are going to be doubled. Who's going to win? Is it going to be the yellows? Yeah! Or is it going to be the greens? Yeah! Let's go back to the garage doors and find out. Come on! Well, that's it. I'm feeling a bit more fit after that now. That was great. OK, into our second game of Find and Keep. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Jeremy, what's going on? <clears throat> Just warming up my voice, Neil, to announce the prizes. Oh, great. Have we got some good prizes today, then? I have to say it, Neil. They're absolutely fantastic. Well, go on, then. Say it. They're absolutely fantastic. Let's play for them, eh? This is the second game of Find and Keep. Four more rooms up for grabs. The rules are the same. This time, the points are doubled to 50 points per correct answer. Greens went first last time, so yellows, you can go first this time. Today, we're playing first off for the fantasy room, which is a spaceship. So 50 points up for grabs here. Open question. What noise does an angry elephant make? Pick a number. Three. What noise does an angry elephant make? <coughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> you greens, I don't believe this. What sound does a cuckoo clock make? Pick a number. Three. Three. What sound does a cuckoo clock make? <laughs> yes, it is! Well done! You get yourself 50 points. You will be raiding the fantasy room. And um, that little thing that was going Jeremy's Joker is new. You'll find out a bit more about that a little later on. You yellows, this is for the study and 50 points. What noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? Pick a oh. number. Number four, what noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? <laughs> Not quite. It depends how big and fat you are. You greens, what noise does a person make when they're frightened? Pick a number. Five. What noise does a person make when they're frightened? Ah! Yes! Yeah! That sounded like the noise a person makes when an elephant sits on them. That was the correct answer. You get the study, you get 50 points, taking your total up to 200. Come on, you yellows, catching up to do. This is for the bathroom. What noise does an angry elephant make? Think about it, pick a number. Four. What noise does an angry elephant make? <laughs> yes! <laughs> well done. You get to raid the bathroom and you get 50 points. You're 50 points behind. You greens, what noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? Pick a number. Seven. Six. Decide which one you want. Seven. 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 Seven it is. What noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? <laughs> <laughs> Depends if there's a dog underneath it. Yellows, this is for the storeroom. Same question. What noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? Eight. What noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? <laughs> no, you don't. Greens, again, what noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? Six. You think it's six? What noise do you get if you sit on a whoopee cushion? <laughs> you certainly do. Especially if Jeremy sits on it as well. Well done. You get yourself another 50 points. So the scores at the end of that game of Find and Keep are the yellow team, 150 points and one room. But at the moment, the greens have got three rooms and 250 points. <laughs> so, OK, teams, grab your helmets and off you go. Get ready to raid. Go on, go, 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 go. So this is it, the final big moment. Who's going to be going with me on the Super Search to play for the star prize? Well, I tell you... I haven't got a clue. Let's go and find out. Let's go and raid some rooms. Come on, then. Whoa. Ice. 
say, look at this. We are in the fantastic fantasy room, which this week is a spaceship. Look at this. We've got the globe there. We've got all the spaceship controls. And we've got Jeremy's Joker. Tell us all about that, Jeremy. Well, Neil, whichever team wins the fantasy room can expect to play Jeremy's Joker. It could be anything. Get dressed up, yogel, a mystery guest, whatever. This time, if they keep the space gloves on Ooh. and find the object, they win a day out at the Drayton Manor Pirate Adventure Park. Well, I'll tell you, that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. So there's extra reason to win those 50 points. Here's your clue. Twinkle, twinkle in the sky, up above, but doesn't fly. Twinkle, twinkle star. in the sky. He thinks it's a star. Go on, John. I think you might be right. 30 seconds to raise the room again. 50 points. Could be absolutely anywhere. Now, I'd like to introduce you to my friend R2D2. Here he is. My friend R2D2. Look at that. I tell you what, John, if you ask me, R2D2 is a star. You must have seen the film. He's definitely a star. He might have a star in his wallet. He might have a star. No, you're giving him a headache now. Look at that. I can't see a star. Don't just raid. Look out for a minute. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Brilliant. Well done. You get yourself 50 points and you get yourself Jeremy's star prize. Well done. Come with me to the study. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. I thought you'd gone home then. Great, well done, you got 50 points and you get yourself Jeremy's Prezi. So here we go. This bit of wire keeps papers in order. This bit of wire keeps papers in order. Paper wire, paper clip, paper clip. 30 seconds to find out. I'll put the point. Wait for me. Look out for me. You're very warm. Marie, you are very, very warm. But that's all I'm going to tell you. But then again, it could be because you're running round. Look absolutely everywhere. John thinks he's looking for a paper clip. Could be anywhere. You got about 15 seconds. No, it's not in there. You could be very warm. Then again, I might be telling lies. It could be absolutely. You got about four seconds. You got about four seconds. Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Marie did shout. She did say, "Got it." She put her hand on it. It was. A paper clip. Well done, you're doing very well. You've just got yourself 50 points. I'm going to join the yellows in the bathroom. You join me. Come on. Come on. Woo! Okay, you yellows. Here we go. Here's your clue. Don't get in a law that a bar of this will keep you clean. You think it's so. You think it's so. Break the room. Go find it. Go find it. Could be absolutely anywhere. A could be so. Now, where's your. Ria, where do you normally keep soap? Where do you normally keep soap, Gary? I know when I'm in the bath I have soap. And when I'm in the shower I have soap. It could be absolutely anywhere. It could be on the floor, it could be hanging up. It could be anywhere. What about hanging up in the shower? It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely... Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Stop it. I don't believe this. Gary had his hand on it. It was soap on a rope. Well done. You get yourself 50 points. You're coming back. I'm going to join the Greens in the storeroom. Come with me. <laughs> You're doing very well at the moment. Here's your clue. This will keep you dry on a rainy day. It's probably useful. This will keep you dry on a rainy... He thinks it's an umbrella. Raise the room and find out. You've got 30 seconds. John knows what he's looking for. Marie knows what she's looking for. John and Marie both know what they're looking for at this point. It could be absolutely anywhere. Look high, look low. You've got about 12 seconds now. Hey, what's he got? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Let me listen. Out of time! Out of time! John, you are mad. John is wrecking my house. You were right first time. You were looking for an umbrella. Yellows, you come on in because you've just won yourself 50 points. But the end of the room raids, the scores are the Yellow Terrors, 250 points. But the Green Meanies have taken it with 350 points. Yeah. Fantastic. Now look, you Greens. Go and get ready for the super set, but in the meantime, shake them and wish them good luck, eh? Give them five, give them five. How's that for sportsmanship? Off you go to get ready for the super set. Now, listen, guys, have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. We've enjoyed having you. No one goes away from finders keepers empty handed. What have we got for them, Jeremy? Goodies galore. You're taking home the sweatshirt, wallet, frisbee, baseball cap, watch, and bag. In fact, your very own finders keepers goodie bag. Well, does that sound good? Yeah. That 
sounds great. Let's hear it for the yellows. Yes. And you come with me on the super set. Let's go. So here we are in Mum and Dad's bedroom, perhaps the most out-of-bounds room in the world. Yeah. Let's just make sure they're not still here in the bed. Now all gone fine, we can get on with it. <laughs> so what were you doing downstairs under that rail, eh? What do you think was the hardest part then so far? Star room. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know why that was, because he was stuck <laughs> under the rail for half of it. OK, this is the super search. The rules are very simple. You've got three minutes to get round all eight rooms. Hidden in every room is an object. When you find the object, <coughs> shout out what it says on it, because it will tell you where to go next. I'll be with you every step of the way, giving you the clues. The more rooms you get through, the better prize. If you get all eight rooms, you get our star prize. OK? Right. Here we go. Your three minutes starts when I've given you this first clue. Don't be a drip. This is full of hot air for drying your locks. Marie thinks it's a, she thinks it's a hairdryer. Stop it! Go! Three minutes stop! I got the clock straight to it! It's a hairdryer! Go to the fantasy room! Let's go! Wow! Wow! No messing around there, then! Here's your clue! On the move, please keep your feet firmly on the ground. On the move, please keep your feet... Marie thinks it's moon boots! No messing around! You're very hot! You're very hot! Yes, you've got the moon boots! What does it say on it? It says on it, go to the bathroom when you're looking for moon boots! Let's go! Go, 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 go! You're doing very well! OK, here's your clue. To get in the swim, slip your feet into these. To get in the swim, slip your feet into these. What do you wear on your feet when you're swimming? And where do you normally swim when you're in the bathroom? Yeah, we haven't got a bath. What have we got? Look absolutely everywhere. You've got it, it's a flipper. What does it say? Go to kids' bedroom, it's a flipper. This way, that way. Right, what halfway through is it? You get a kick out of this and you might score a goal. A kick out of this. A football. You think it's a football? There's no football down there. There won't be a football in there, that's for sure. What about that's it? You get warm. Sometimes I play football in bed. You never know. It could be. You're very warm.